We just haven't tested them with people in them yet. You'll notice the stealth panels, similar to what we use on the B-2. The rotors have been muffled with decibel killers. It's slower than a Black Hawk, lacks the offense and the stability, but it can hide. So, uh, excuse me, but what do we, what do we need this for in, in Libya? I mean, Gaddafi's anti-air is virtually non-existent. Maya, you want to brief him? There are two narratives about the location of Osama bin Laden. The one that you're most familiar with is that UBL is hiding in a cave in the tribal areas, that he's surrounded by a large contingent of loyal fighters. But that narrative is pre-9-11 understanding of UBL. The second narrative is that he's living in a city, living in a city with multiple points of egress and entry, access to communications, so that he can keep in touch with the organization. You can't run a global network of interconnected cells from a cave. We've located an individual we believe, based on detainee reporting, is bin Laden's courier. He's living in a house in Abbottabad, Pakistan, and we assess that one of the other occupants of the house is UBL. General. Excuse me. Uh, so, UBL, you got, you got an intel source on the ground? No. No? Okay, so how do you know it's Bin Laden? Because the truth is, we've been on this op before. It was 07, and it wasn't Bin Laden, and we lost a couple of guys. Totally understand. Bin Laden uses a courier to interact with the outside world. By locating the courier, we've located Bin Laden. That's really the intel. That's it. Quite frankly, I didn't even want to use you guys. With your dip and your Velcro and all your gear bullshit, I wanted to drop a bomb. But people didn't believe in this lead enough to drop a bomb. So they're using you guys as canaries in the theory that if Bin Laden isn't there, you can sneak away and no one will be the wiser. Hmm. But Bin Laden is there. And you're going to kill him for me. <laughs> 